Uh, this is a model used for demonstrating uh, causes of agricultural tractor accidents based on a model described in a peer-reviewed journal article by A.G. Hunter in 1982. Got a number, this model's got a number of distinctive features. First of which is a indication on the side here of the slope in degrees. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And as you raise and lower the slope, so the indicator changes to indicate the appropriate angle of slope. There's also a surface that represents, in this case, uh, a rough grass texture. The advantage of the model is that you can place spare other alternative surfaces, mid-range grip, or if need be, a very slippery one that represent coefficients of friction that uh, relate to their actual uh, real-life equivalents. So those are two of the features. And then the third is the use of 1 in 32 models of agricultural tractors. And the mechanics of it is, and physics of it is such that Hunter has shown that this represents what happens in real life accidents. And one of the first findings of research was those tests that are done in the laboratory on tilt tables actually aren't replicated in real life. By that I mean accidents occur at slopes far less than those found under those ideal conditions. And those ideal conditions are by placing a vehicle on a tilt table, so in this case the axles are chained to the ground and what you do is you raise the slope until the vehicle starts to overturn. And in this case, this is an example of the first type of instability which is sideways, lateral instability. These tilt table tests can also be used to look at what happens when the vehicle is pointing both downhill and uphill. In the case of downhill, we would call this tipping, where the front wheels remain on the ground and the rear start to lift. It would be tipping, and rearing is where pointing uphill, and for whatever reason the front starts to lift. And so that those are both two types of longitudinal instability. But what Hunter found from analysing a whole range of agricultural accidents is that in real life accidents occur well below those angles which you would find on, as I say, a tilt table. A classic example being one, in this case what we have is a two-wheel drive agricultural tractor. In this case what we find is that it will slide out of control at angles much, much less than we found on the tilt table. So in this case, if I just give an example, on a 20 degree slope, if we just raise it slightly, it will slide out of control and potentially overturn. And although right at the bottom of the hill, the actual final overturn is lateral or sideways, the real cause is this control loss where it slides out of control. So in this case, if I just give another demonstration, there it is, it will lift. And in this case, you'll see that the first sign is that one of the wheels is lifted off the ground. In this case, we have three points of contact, both on the front two axles and on this uh, rear offside. And the reason for that is that this has got a tilting front axle. And the advantage of that in practice is if you find potholes, slight bumps, it gives you much better contact with the ground. So a slight bump or inclination can actually give you, continue to give you three points of contact or even four. Whereas if I use this example, which is a tractor that's got a fixed front axle, once it starts to, if one wheel comes off the ground, it brings the other. So in this case, it's less stable because only two points of contact remain. If we go for the pivoting front axle, get a slight inclination, and in this case, one wheel's off the ground, but the three others remain. So this is an example of, as I say, 
this type of instability called control loss. And the analysis of the accidents was such that many, many experienced operators got caught out and have had accidents as a result of this phenomenon known as control loss. And the main issue is a sliding out of control because you have a lack of friction. But if you find an alternative surface, in this case this is one that's slippier still, you might have to go down to the relatively low angles of between 10 and 15 degrees and you can show that it will slide out of control. So here's, let's lift this one slightly, there it is, 12, 13 degrees and it's sliding out of control. Quite often operators will describe accidents in those terms where the vehicle starts very slowly to slide out of control and will gather speed before finally overturning at these relatively shallow angles. So the moral of the story is that these accidents occur very much shallower slopes than you would find in um, laboratory tilt table tests. So to summarise, three types of instability are lateral, which is the sideways one, flips over that way, longitudinal, which is again as the name implies, the longitude of its axis, of which there's two types, tips forward, or the alternative for rear up, tipping and rearing, and then the third type, which I'll just show for one last time, control loss where the vehicle slides out of control before finally overturning.